What's going on guys? Commando Santa here, and welcome back to Factorio. Let's get back to what we were doing. So, what did I want to do again? Yes, okay, so we're going to need lots of things. Um, in between episodes, I fixed uh, this line right here because I had a few people like, fix the belt, so I did it. And really it was bothering me that I made it do like this little turn right here. Thus, is that's exactly how Factorio works because you're going to get annoyed at these certain things because well at least I do because I have crazy OCD when it comes to this game but oh look at this production of plates it's this is great are these full too oh my gosh look at how many iron plates we have let's uh finish this off real quick so we're gonna need let's see 4 8 12 16 15, 15, 20. 20 will work Let's continue that. We're gonna have to probably add another set of these, and I guess it's better to do that now than later, before I forget. We also wanna run coal up here as well so I can stop having to feed this box. One, two. Couple more power poles, cause we're gonna need them. Why do I have one science pack? I'm gonna go run put the science pack in one of these. Oh yeah, I have to do research. We finished stone walls. Okay, let's do that. What do we wanna do next? Military? Yeah, let's get some submachine guns, because those are going to be useful, because we have a pistol right now, and it's kind of crap. <laughs> it's not the strongest thing ever. Well, at all. It'll work. But I need the submachine gun so we can shoot faster. All right, let's get these down. And this will work for now. I'm going to need more of this stuff anyway to fully saturate this belt sit there okay one more belt there one more belt here and let's go wild oh yeah we're gonna need more power poles anyway because we're going to need do we need more wood i need more wood well i suffice let's see one two three that'll do that will do Okay, let's go add our next thing over here, get some more power production, and that should work. Uh, let's get the belt up here, because we really need to get this. Wow, military already finished. What do we want next? Oh, military opens up all these different damage nodes, which is completely useful. Um, these also work for turrets as well. so. M magazine based weapons turrets defender robots so when we're, whenever we get to robots and, and crap like that these are really good but turrets really good as well uh, because we get damage and shooting speed same thing with shotgun and stuff but shotgun is only for us and i don't really use a shotgun often the only time i use shotgun is for tree clearing <laughs> but once you get grenades tree clearing is very easy anyway um, I'm going to actually go get steel processing, because that's one of the things we're going to try to get going next. Okay, we need to figure out what we're doing with coal here. I am going to make five more mining drills. And I'm going to have the coal come out and actually split. So, yeah, while that's doing that, I think I'm going to have it come out. I'm just going to steal one of these. Um, if you hold shift, you can... Yeah, I think I told you guys how to, but you can do ghost mode. You have to move that pole, which is fine. Will that fit? I think that's going to work out. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so we're going to do here, here, one like that. Okay, we're going to get rid of these power poles because they're in the way. I apologize if you hear talking. There's people yelling upstairs. <laughs> okay, now we're going to make a belt splitter. And I'm going to close steam real quick because of that reason. Okay, we're going to split the belt, like that. 
Bring one half down here, just so we can feed our lovely thing. That's we gotta fight a little bit, but it's fine. That'll do for now. Now this is going to be interesting because we want to actually come like this for the other line here. I'm gonna ghost this. So we just get fully saturated. We'll bring this one up here. This one is going to be split off a lot more than uh, it, that's when, this one's just going to be split off a lot because these are not going to take that much coal at all just to keep going and we're going to switch to we're not going to switch we're going to keep burner inserters because just in case our, we do get a brown out these will still feed which is exactly what we want actually grab that so, right now, this is not the prettiest, but it'll do. But look at that, this is like fully saturated. And we're actually running out of iron ore, so we should probably build some more mining drills. So let's get another five. Steel processing is done. We're starting to get close to the end of how much we can do with just normal red science, which is actually really good. <sighs> Let that go. Oh yeah, we need to put power down. Can I get all three? Ugh. Please? Yeah. Actually, I'm going to need to leave a gap in here, so I'm not even going to do that anyway. Ah, there we go. Just get rid of all this for now. I'm not worried about this right now. <laughs> we'll do that later. I could probably fit one more if I didn't do these all crappily, but... I can do that in between episodes. <laughs> Why do you not have any? Am I not feeding you fast enough? You're getting a constant stream. I guess I just need more. Well, it's just the belts haven't backed up enough, so that's probably what our issue is. So, one thing I also want to do. Am I really out of iron plates already? Oh my gosh. Time to eat some more. Nom 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 nom. That'll do. Keep these going. Let's place down our other mining drills just to keep this belt as saturated as possible because as you can tell we need a lot of iron ore. One, two. Two. That'll do. Okay, get some power. Try so I don't. I keep being moved by the, the belts. All right, that should really increase that output. It's not gonna be perfect, but it'll be enough. I hope. But I mean, look at that, we're already backed up again. We need to actually start using this. Um, belts are getting low. So we should probably start making belts again. Which I can do that really quick. We'll just do the usual usual setup. It'll just be temporary. Four, let's get another one of those just in case. Be super temporary. This is not going to stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I actually am going to before I run into a mistake here. I actually want to make sure this is fully saturated. Usually these, you want to get roughly 24 of them for a fully saturated yellow. Or at least that's what I do. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, oops, 10, 12. So that's actually fine. So, for a future case, we'll just leave it like that. So let's get that going. 1, Eat like that, eat like that, put it there, and we'll put it in a box right here, limit it to like three, we'll do gears and belts. We need some power, which we need some more wood. Let's go over here and chop some trees down. And remember, the more trees we chop down, the more pollution is going to spread this way, which might not be the best thing. So I'm only going to chop as much as we need because deforestation is bad, right? <laughs> Put 
Put that there, put that there. I'm trying to hook it up somewhere. There. Let that go. I think I'm actually going to... How much fast? These do half a second. These need... What does it take to be gear wheel? It's half a second and needs two. So technically we need two of those, which I could do a fast inserter, but whatever. Now we just have a constant stream of gear wheels, which is going to be perfect. Um, why I did that is, if you didn't hear me, gear wheels take two iron plates, and it takes a half a second to make them. Uh, inserters take half a second on a, a swing to pick up one item. So, half a second swing, technically we need two of them, so we get two every half second, because this requires two every half second. But, transport belts take half a second and need one iron plate and one gear wheel, which we're getting one and one in half a second, therefore this is going to be fine here. Um, this could actually use a fast sense. Oh, that's how much it takes to build. Sorry, I forget what the... I think this is actually half a second. I think this is a quarter second. I, I gotta look that up. I'm actually gonna look that up. Inserter speeds. Let's see. Tell me things. Tell me things. Oh, they have ticks, but not seconds. Yeah, arm cycles per second. So this is technically 0.83 arm cycles per second. Well, the fast inserter is 2.31 arm cycles per second. So this will get a little bit less than, a little bit more than half way in a second. Right? Yeah, whatever. So it roughly equals out. So that's just something to consider, you know, if like, if you, if you have something that needs like a faster, if it's making something faster and needs a little bit more input, it might be beneficial to put like a, a blue insert or a fast inserter because those are quicker. Because you don't want these to like be waiting for materials when, if you can increase that, you can increase your throughput and be ultimately making more stuff. A little pro tip. <laughs> I'm going to put all my coal in here, because I don't want to carry them anymore. All right, what was I doing? Was I going to get copper ready? I think so. Let's try and get copper going. Ten drills. Let's do six. We're going to need stone. That's one thing I can do, is start automating stone mining, because we're going to need it. Where was our stone? It was, like, right here. There it is. Right here. Of course I threw away all my coal. Ah, oh, so stupid. But, it'll have to do. We'll do like, two. And, we will just bust them. Like this, just so we can put them in a crate. Which I have right here. I'm not gonna waste that. I have to, because I need wood, which is right here. Wood crate. Inserter. We're going to need power over here anyway. So let's just get that. You know what? Arr, thinking, thinking, thinking. Well, research is done. Let's do automation two. Uh, automation two will give us assembling machines too, which are a little bit quicker and can take three, three inputs instead of two inputs that we're limited to with one normal assembling machine. Let me research that. Let's run power over here. Run, 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 run. Oh, will I have enough? Oh, yes, I will. Oh, that was close. I told you I was professional. Don't go me on that. I'm not a professional this game. <laughs> Let's mine some of these trees. Nice. Okay. I didn't grab coal. But I don't need it, because I'm lazy. Electricity is the wave of the future. There we go. Now I never have to worry about that again. Look at that. Just build one of these for now. 
And really, four is going to be fine for over here. You're out of copper. I mean, you're out of fuel. Which is fine. I can just do this. In you go. We'll just force the force the output. Instead of having to actually do something with that. Uh, beneficial wise, I think it's going to be fine to start from the bottom and work our way down. Something like this. Get enough throughput. That'll be fine. I'm going to balance the sides just because. And when we need to add more, we can add more. He yelled at me. Did I miss one? No, I didn't. Okay. Down we go. Smelting wise, let's smelt. Oh, which way do I want my bus to go? I was actually thinking earlier before I started this episode, I was originally thinking going this way, but in all honesty, down is pretty open. But also, if we keep going this way, we have the occasional... I think we should go down in all honesty. Which is funny because I already pointed these upwards, but I guess that'll have to do. But if we start the bus like here, that could work. But expanding this would be weird, so I might want to rotate that, but I can do that in between episodes, which is fine. So, one thing I'm going to do before we go try and get that going again... Um, I'm going to make a few more power poles. One inserter for blueprint. We're gonna, I'm going to teach you guys how to use blueprints. So, there is, let's see, one, two, three, four, I'll just do this. So we have, think, bank. This is a really useful thing in Factorio, which a lot of players miss out on. Do that, do that, do that. Continue our belts, because blueprints will still work even if you just made ghost of one. So you're gonna hit B, and you're gonna make a new blueprint. You're gonna drag it to your hotbar. So we're pretty happy with everything here. So I'm just gonna grab like this. And then there we go. Now you can just save this. And we can call it like a uh, yellow belt smelting yes and put it in our bar and so we can just place it wherever we want so if I want to put it like here I can aside from getting these in the way let's try and put it like over here we're gonna cut power for a minute because reasons That should be fine. Let's bring it up a little bit. Is that equal? Yes, it is. There we go. Now, it's not going to place all of them for you. No, that's we're not going to get that lucky right away. In order to get them to place... In order to get it to place all of them for you, we're going to have to research robotics, which is going to be way in the future. So, looking right now, I'm going to need, a, need another splitter. Um, another underground belt. We have a crap load of belts still but it might be beneficial to buy to go grab some more let's real quick fix this connection here so we can keep our science going okay um i'm gonna hold off on research real quick where's my stone there it is look at that we're just filling this up i'm just gonna grab 50 because that's all we're going to need and we're gonna make 10 stone furnaces for now because it's going to be more than enough. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, I almost missed. Come on. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to need inserters. So, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 20 should be fine. Put that there. How do we want our coal to load? Oh, shoot, I should have left a... I wonder if underground belts will work like this. Yes, they will. <laughs> Perfect. So, I'm actually going to grab another splitter. 
I need more copper plates. Uh, grab a couple of these. Iron plates need more. Okay. Let's grab some more belts. Luckily we have a stockpile of like 200 of them. And let's split off of... Oh, there is the splitter. There she is. Let's split off of this line. Bring it like this. And we're going to want to bring it up to this side right here. Bring this over. There we go. Go like this. Perfect. Now this is easily fixed by just doing this, but it's fine. Let's get the belts in. I don't think we need them all, so I won't go the, all the way down. Place our inserters down. Prioritize the front here. It's gonna be on the inside. Yeah, cool. One, two, three, four. That's fine for now. It works out really well. Bring this down. And let's power it up. And so it's already working. We're going to need more power poles. We're also going to need some more mining drills, but I'm actually going to pull up these back ones first. And I'm going to put them in the front because I really only want them there just to start a line to make sure that I knew where I want, wanted them. And we can save on power poles by doing it this way. And perfect. So now should we, we should be getting some input here. I'm actually going to block right here and right here. So if we ever get a surplus, it's going to sit here and back up like that instead of having to back up here. So then we'll have like, if we let this go, we'll have a bunch of resources sitting here that don't get used until we finally fix that. So after doing that, <laughs> science is almost obsolete or at least they're where we are. So I'm just going to fill this anyway. We'll keep this going until we're done with red science. And then that should be able to, that we should be able, by that point, we're going to have a main bus going. And on that main bus, we'll be able to increase our science output and actually start working on green science. So, but unfortunately that's going to be the end of this video. So next episode, we're going to be working on the main bus, I think. Working on the main bus, maybe I'll fix this in between episodes. Mm, that might be able to wait for a little bit. I think the bus is going to be like over here. So I actually have a lot of room. Um, in the end, this is not going to be permanent at all. Well, this might be permanent enough. But I like to do these factories in the beginning to help bootstrap my big factory, which is going to like be where I pretty much where I start actually working on all these things and actually getting good automation because like this is going to turn into a little bit of, of a organized mess, <laughs> if I could be so bold. But later we'll be able to make an actual nicely organized factories with trains kind of like coming, feeding different areas and such and such, and robots doing different robot things. And at that point, I can, once I get that going, this will just turn into nothing. It'll be like just a shell of what this used to be, I guess. And more, we just turn it into a solar farm too, but that's for super far in the distance. So anyways, this is where we're going to end the episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment in the comments if you need to tell me something and I'll see you guys in the next episode.